Oh, yo, guys, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Look at this. That's the motherfucking, motherfucking young LA tree, bro. Look at this. We need a. Uh, we need some presents to put under this tree. If you guys like Christmas, let me know. Because if you don't like Christmas, please unsub to my YouTube channel. I know a lot of people have different views on Christmas, so that's completely fine. But my mother, my beautiful, beautiful mother, always taught me to love Christmas and give back as much as humanly possible. So anyways, we're gonna throw a, I'm gonna put a present. I'm gonna put a present under the tree. Look at this shit. Oh guys, yep. Boom, Christmas Eve. Beautiful. Look at this present. What do we got? Look at this. Bro. Look at, oh my god. Yes. I can do the Rubik's Cube, by the way. This is actually the new leather jackets. Look at the quality on this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at vegan leather, so they're not, uh, trust me, they're not, you know, fucking up some cows. These are vegan. We're vegans at Young LA, right? Look at this. I don't know if they're sold out. I don't know when this video is dropping, but look. So sick. If you guys are going out to eat or you have a significant other, leather jacket, there. brownie points for style. I'm you. Crazy, I always get to this point where you want to keep bulking, but at the same time, my face uh, literally blows up like the Michelin Man. Changes everything. To be honest, I am all for aesthetics at the end of the day. So I'm doing this to obviously be better next year. That's my main goal. And, um, you know, if any of you plan on hopping on stage, you know, it, it would look super shitty if you're just shredded and skinny. Like that's, I don't want to be a skinny bitch, right? So at the end of the day, it's very hard in my mentality to keep going um, at this rate that I'm, that I'm currently at. I've only been bulking like online, like I guess, uh, I've only been, I've only mentioned I've been bulking for like, I think two months, something like that since like my first bulking video. But honestly guys, I've been bulking for like four, five months ever since I got back from Toronto and meeting Will and shit like that. But everybody has a breaking point, I feel. And honestly, I think, uh, I think my breaking point's coming up because as soon as I hit over 200 pounds, I was like 201 pounds this morning. As soon as I started getting up there, guys, like it's just so hard mentally to keep going on. I, get, I, I basically got to keep reminding myself of my end goal and just what I want to do and competing and I want to look super full on stage. I don't know if I'm going to compete again after this because uh, it's not that much of a passion for me, but I want to see what I can do legitimately, naturally, um, and hopefully I can inspire and motivate some of you who want to do the same shit, even if you're natural, because I know it's hard for a lot of people to, you know, not stick their Stick a pin up their ass. Here, still we try this. Yeah, what the hell are you do? I have the power. Anyways, I think the end is near for the bulk. To be honest, um, it's just hard when you when you start gaining weight and you start getting um, you, you start looking in the mirror and you look more fluffy. Maybe uh, you guys notice that or not. I can definitely see it based on me being 185 pounds to me being almost 205 now, basically. So I think I'm gonna cap it off at 205, something like that. We're gonna see how it goes from there. And then the 16 week cut commences. I just want to have mass, but also be aesthetic and eat ass, you know what I'm I am what, 20 pounds up, almost, since the start of my bulk. Strength is crazy, but getting, uh, we're getting close to the end. It might be the end here soon, but we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> probably gonna be another month is to hit 315 for two by six so for me to do that I need to get strong as fuck so I gotta stop being a little bitch skinny bitch bench twice a week till I hit it Set. 
we're doing 315. Hopefully three by four. Especially when you guys start gaining weight and shit, it's easier to do it when you bulk up quicker. But if it's gonna be slower over time, let's say you do like a six month bulk, it's gonna be so much harder to see progress in terms of you know how many calories you're eating and, and how quick the process you want it to kind of go, if that makes sense. Like if you're doing a lean bulk, there's no point, honestly, because you're only gonna be gaining a little amount and a bulk is, is meant to bulk, right? You wanna do certain things in that five to six months so that you look fucking Sexy as hell on the beach next next year. That makes sense. Right, Dan? Right, Dan? That's fucking right. <laughs> I'm gonna follow this guy today. Hopefully. Hopefully. We're gonna see how we go. Uh, hey, he's got what? How old are you? Like 400. <laughs> he's got like 200 years on My gym dad. Dad, Myron, I'm sorry, right? You don't come to the gym with me. <laughs> Get your ass to the gym, Myron. <laughs> I told my dad, I'm like, I have a gym dad. Like, I showed him, he's like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, this could be you. Guys, this is way you work out, okay? This man is 35. Look at him. Look at him. Looks like he's 20. Okay? Mentality. The, the physical aspect is only one part of it, okay? You know how mentally strong this fucking guy is, huh? Look at him. Look at him. Strong as fuck up here. coming in every day the mentality that you're blessed to be here don't come to the gym because you won't want to come on the days that you feel like shit just know that you're grateful to be here to be able to better yourself dude you don't fucking need motivation if you have discipline you can do literally anything you want in your life translate it to building a relationship with a friend a new person a stranger a waitress whatever motivation biggest things I would say obviously besides eating that's how you're going to gain the weight over time but if you want to I don't know make the process more enjoyable I guess I would say focus heavily on lifting decently heavy weight because if you can track your progress not only with the weight on the scale but also with you know the weights that you use in the gym so like let's say for an example you have a goal of hitting 315 on bench for like 10 reps or something like that if you have that goal then you're gonna strive almost every week to increase either the weight the sets the reps to progressively overload over time if that makes sense and that'll just make it so much easier to put on mass over time because you're gaining strength right strength doesn't correlate to you building a stupid amount of muscle but it's obviously going to help in the long run when you're let's say 10 pounds 15 pounds heavier four or five months down the road from you being in a calorie surplus, training hard, shit like that. So.
good thing too. It's kind of like push to push past failure. Is to do drop sets, rest pause sets, shit like that. So if you guys are ever hitting like that kind of breaking point where you already hit like three by 12 to 15, whatever, it's always good sometimes on your last set to do a drop set or do a rest pause. If you guys have ever seen one of C Bomb's videos, like he does rest pause all the time with uh, Hanny, I think his coach name is, where you like you rest in 20, 30 seconds, hop in your last set, kind of bump out four or five more reps. Last set. You uh what? You had a breath there or what? I'm fat, man. I'm gonna stop cardio. Oh, you only do cardio on Saturday nights, eh? Yeah. 3 a.m. cardio session? Yeah. Um, sure. Oh. <laughs> no, for Overuses real. Overuses the real, hip though, thrust, I'm, uh, <laughs> well, for real, I'm stopping cardio until uh, the start of the cut, because I'm going to... I want to strategically see how much cardio impacts your uh, your progress in terms of a cut, because I've always done cardio like my entire life, even when, even when bulk this last I'm, month, right? I haven't done literally well, any that's cardio. I asked you when you told me that you were bulking, I said, like, "Why the fuck are you doing cardio?" Yeah, I'm bulking and I do a little bit of cardio yeah. and I lose eight pounds. But it's good for your heart. Like I just love fuck like the, the heart, health man. part. <laughs> fuck, fuck the heart. We're trying man. to get fucking huge, muscles. bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a disgusting meal, my least favorite meal of the day. We have some codfish, some rice, and basically some mixed vegetables. Now, cod, and specifically fish, is very good for anybody to have in their diet, even females. I know you guys don't have it as much as us males, but sometimes it's good to, you know, kind of get in there and, you know, feel around and, and play with new things, try new things out, because you never know until you try. Normally, when it comes to building a lot of muscle, right, and putting on mass over time. I know from my personal experience of doing a couple bulks in my day, your diet is absolutely king, right? But if your training is not in place in terms of building uh, uh, specific exercises up over time, then you're kind of just going in circles. Now, let me explain because a lot of people think they know what they're doing in terms of you know the exercise selection they choose, but at the end of the day, if you don't really prioritize certain movements in your bulk, quote unquote bulk, or lean bulk or whatever you guys are trying to do. Again, you're just gonna be doing the same thing over and over. And a lot of people, you can do that and see fantastic results. I'm not saying you can't. However, over time, you will slowly, slowly realize that you're not making as much gains as you used to, and that's why you want to enter a bulk to add, you know, X amount of weight over a, you know, X, X time frame basically. So for myself, I want to basically by like mid January, that's when I'm gonna start my cut or maybe January, I don't know what I wanna do yet. I want to be around 205 pounds. So this is literally exactly how I've gained 15 pounds in the past basically four months. So obviously, once you, once you start a bulking phase, it is super, super good for your mentality because now you aren't restricting yourself being on a diet. So as soon as you make this decision, as soon as you finally commit to putting more food into your body, that is when changes actually occur. You'll look in the mirror, you're gonna be you know, more full on a daily basis. That just basically means you, you, you fill out your frame more. You know, If you're in a calorie deficit, you don't feel that good on a daily basis because you don't have that much food in your body. If you do it strategically, maybe you're eating a good amount of food and you're still lean. That's fantastic. But when it comes to actually putting on mass over time, I can say this from personal experience that because you are doing it more strategically, if you are like, let's say for an example that a lot of people out there, when they start to bulk, they just start eating whatever they want. And there's going to be so many people out there on the internet that tell you, just start eating your, just stuff in your face with a bunch of shit. Just eat whatever you want. Yeah. That's a good thing off the start. You're going to gain a lot of weight. You're going to be like, oh, the bulk's working. And then you're going to look at yourself two months in, in the mirror and you're going to be like, holy fuck. I look like absolute dog shit. The first month that I increased my calories, I did not touch those calories because I was making progress in the gym every single week. And if you're making progress in the gym and you're eating you know, uh, a good amount of food and you're enjoying what you're doing, then you're on the right track. If your weight plateaus, that's when you know when to increase your calories, guys. Okay, don't fucking eat 5,000 calories at the start of your bulk. That's not gonna be optimal for gaining 20 pounds in the long run. Now, I know there's a bunch of people, Brett, like who cares if it's optimal, I just wanna get massive, I just wanna get huge. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't, like everybody has a different strategic process, but if you don't wanna have crippling depression while you're bulking, then I would highly suggest doing it strategically because you're gonna get to a point where you just, 
you just hate what you see in the mirror and uh, you'll cut your bulk shorter than you probably want to because you're not in a good place mentally, right? Now, how I have personally gained like 15 pounds in the last, like honestly, like four months. Obviously, most of your bulk is gonna be from your diet. I'm not gonna bore you guys with a bunch of like stupid scientific shit. Like if you wanna know more about that, just DM me. But I know a lot of people don't really care about that, especially when it's not coming from a person that has a PhD. He just looks somewhat good in front of a mirror. Like I'm, I don't know everything. So take everything with a grain of salt. However, if you add, let's say 200 calories every three, four weeks. That's how you are going to get not only your metabolism to um, you know, speed up and be, be better when you start a cut, because when you're cutting and you're in a calorie deficit for so long, I don't mean to do all these informational videos and shit like this, like let me know if you guys want this type of thing, but I feel so passionately about you know using my experience to help other people if you guys wanna follow the same path that I'm doing. You're not gonna obviously be on the exact same path. You know, what's that fucking movie? Will, um, uh, uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. You know how there's two, there's two paths, right? We're going right here. Maybe you're in the middle. Maybe I'm over here. Maybe my, my roommate Tyler, he's right here. But at the end of the day, if we're all kind of coming back to the same, we're all gonna get chocolate. So it doesn't really matter what kind of path you take, as long as you take the right steps on that path, if that makes sense. So again, if you want a dirty bulk, go for it. If you want a clean bulk, go for it. If you don't want a bulk, fucking have at her. I do not give a solitary fuck. However, if you don't have that muscle mass kind of built up, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be where you should be. And that's where I feel like a lot of people don't actually know how to bulk properly. Now to actually go off of uh, the topic of how I gained um, you know, X amount of weight over the last four months, basically like 15 pounds. As soon as you guys hit that plateau, like I mentioned in a shredding video a long time ago, once you hit that plateau, that's when you make adjustments, right? If you guys are currently doing cardio um, like four to five times a week on your bulk, maybe just slowly decrease that instead of increasing your calories if you can't eat anymore, right? If you're already stuffing your face every single day, what's the point? of putting more calories into your diet if you're not gonna be able to eat that. Now, obviously there's little things that you can do to make that process easier on yourself, adding olive oil, um, healthy fats. It's gonna be much easier to add those types of foods rather than adding you know, carbohydrates and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, again, like if you can't stick to the diet, it doesn't matter if you stick to it five out of seven days out of the week. You know, if you, if you were off on Saturday and Sunday, then it doesn't matter what you did during the week because over time, yes, you're probably gonna see results, but you're not gonna look as good as you probably want to in the long run. So. If we're talking about a you know four month ball, those two days, Saturday and Sunday, those add up every single month. Those are literally eight days every single month. Eight times four, 32. That's basically, that's not 32, eight times, yeah, 32. Math, I'm good at math, haha. <laughs> so obviously just take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt and do what you want at the end of the day. But gaining weight doesn't have to be that hard and don't be don't be scared of it, especially if you're a girl, man. Like I know a lot of women out there are scared to get bulky. Like you won't get bulky, bro. If you, if you actually think that eating protein and going to the gym is gonna make you bulky, then I think every guy ever would be going to the gym because if they're super skinny, they would wanna get fucking large as fuck right? Have protein, have supplements, have creatine, do all these things intentionally to strategically make progress over the long term, regardless if you're a male, a female, a box, a turtle, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you are. Everybody's metabolism is different. So just because I tell you guys to, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, everybody's metabolism is different. So if I tell you to add 200 calories, to your diet that you're currently having right now, it doesn't mean you're gonna gain weight, right? It has to be different depending on you, um, you know, what your goals are, what your body weight is, how tall you are, stuff like that. So, currently cooking up some, some rice. <laughs> yes! Oh, look at that shit, bro. I got a bone to pick with a couple people who don't, who, who want to look like other people, but don't wanna go through the process of being through bulk. And let me explain, because I can't believe people don't wanna sacrifice, well at least me, I hope, you know, the, the people that watch my videos, you guys wanna sacrifice as well, because you wanna look sexy as hell on a beach in the summer, right? How can you possibly be better than you were last year if you're eating the same amount of fucking calories every single summer or winter, sorry. Does that make sense, guys? Like, I genuinely believe that if everyone, if everyone would just go through a strategic bulk for at least, I don't know, like, at least three to four months every single year. That's not even that long, bro. Like one of the guys that I've got slowly closer with uh, just from being an on Young LA, his name's Brinks. I think his name's Jacob Brink. I don't even know his last name, honestly. Jacob, he's been bulking for like a year and a half, bro. Like take him as an example. He's natural as well, I believe. He still is natural. So he has to go through those stages. He has to go through that shit 
because he's a natural bodybuilder. He has to look bigger, right? He's not gonna get bigger just by eating the same, doing the same shit all the time. And I feel, I feel for those people who they're lost and they're scared because they don't want to, you know, gain a lot of body fat or whatever. But at the end of the day, guys, like you have to go through that shit. I'm sorry, you have to. It's hard on me, bro. Like I'm at, the, I'm, I'm basically at the end. I've only mentioned it to you guys. Uh, I think like honestly, like a month a month and a half ago, maybe two months that I was bulking, but I was bulking before that. I was just kind of insecure. Obviously a lot of that is genetic, but you can build yourself up properly. Um, if you, you know, again, eat more and shit like that and do it strategically. So at the end of the day, guys, how to gain so much weight if you are a hard gainer or if you are a skinny person like myself when I first started, like I did not expect to be uh, where I'm at. I thought I was gonna be playing hockey when I was growing up like every other kid with a you know sport dream of some sort so and just be consistent be consistent with your goals whatever you want to achieve and trust me when we're all shredded in summer we're gonna come back to this video and you're gonna be like fuck I'm so glad I committed because Brett told me turb you know put me on the boom put me on this path listen to me I feel like I have ADHD in a way because I can't focus you know what I'm saying? That's why I like describing a certain topic because it makes me stay focused. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, that is gonna sum up this video on basically um, how I've been bulking. And I think I'm gonna end it here soon because I can even notice it in my face. Like when people comment, oh, he's getting thick, thick boy, it's hard. <laughs> It's it's hard. That being said, I'm gonna put up the giveaway winners right here for last video. Uh, basically, if you guys commented on the last video that I posted, uh, basically I'm giving one of you guys $50, so just cash. So I'm gonna put the winner right here and also the $100 gift card for Huge Supplements right there, right there. If you guys do wanna pick up anything from Huge, link in the description, Code Turb, same with Young LA. I appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, sub if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.